and welcome to this week's Fresh Life. I am 13 on your side health reporter Val Lego bringing you a fresh take on healthy living. Well, here's a habit you may want to break if you want more energy in the morning. Stop drinking your coffee as soon as you get up. That jolt of java first thing can interfere with your body's natural energy levels. The best time to have that first cup is 60 to 90 minutes after you wake up. That's because caffeine interferes with the production of cortisol, which is the hormone that tells your body it's time to wake up. We can thank management and behavioral science expert Daniel Pink for his research on this one. But no one likes to admit it. 60% of us do it. I'm talking about snoring. There's a home remedy for it that's sure to get your attention. It is called mouth taping. Here's how it works. Well, I was skeptical at first, too. I mean, taping my mouth all of a sudden, which sounds crazy, but it definitely helped me. And if individuals are breathing through an open mouth during sleep, they're more prone to obstructive sleep apnea. They're more prone to insomnia and also to snoring and lighter sleep that they wake up feeling unrefreshed. Patrick McCowan is an internationally recognized expert on breathing and has written several books on the benefits if you close your mouth and breathe entirely through your nose. The nose produces a gas called nitric oxide, which is antibacterial and antiviral. He says the nose is the first line of immune defense and he has long advocated for mouth taping to stop snoring and sleep better. I started taping my mouth back in 1997 and I remember waking up after the second night of the mouth taped. I woke up in the morning and it was definitely the best night's sleep I had in about 15 years. Healthy people probably would have no danger with doing that and could conceivably feel better. Dr. Fred Campbell is an internist with University Health. He says the biggest concern over mouth taping is the lack of long-term scientific studies. He also has a warning for people with acid reflux. I would be careful about uh, the issue of, of um, vomiting or regurgitation in, in those people that are susceptible. And uh, above all, uh, check with a health professional uh, to make sure that uh, this kind of maneuver is safe. All you need to try this is inexpensive cloth tape that you tape across your mouth. You can get this at the pharmacy. You can add nasal strips or nasal dilators like these, called mute, tiny pieces of plastic that keep your nostrils open. And in addition to a good night's sleep, mouth taping lubricates your nostrils, helps with asthma, increases blood oxygen levels, and helps prevent tooth decay. So if you snore, you just might want to try taping your mouth shut. Well, here's something you may not have known. You should be applying your deodorant at night. And that is, of course, only if it is an antiperspirant. At night, your sweat glands are less active, so they can better absorb the antiperspirant and it has time to sink in. Don't worry, your antiperspirant will even stay on during your morning shower. Tip is, your skin needs to be dry in order for it to work. If you follow this tip, it can last 24 hours without reapplying. Thanks to Birdie.com for the tip. Thanks for joining me, and you can catch a new episode of Fresh Life every Sunday at noon right here on 13 on Your Side's YouTube channel. Until then, keep it healthy, keep it fresh.